future hello future engineers welcome to my youtube channel if you're still new to my channel and you like what i'm doing please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends friends that's the, the only way you can help me uh, explore my channel and to keep me going refreshed and inspired and also don't forget to subscribe if you find my videos helpful to your studies. Draw the influence lines for RA, share in panel point DE and the moment at C. Also compute the maximum vertical reaction at A due to the uniform live load of 0.9 kN per meter and a concentrated live load of 18 kN. So here we go. When the unit load is at A, X is 0. Then let's have the free body diagram for RA and derive equations for shear in panel DE. So these are the transmitted reactions at, at B, C, D, E, F, and at G, supposedly. So this is the shear in panel DE and the moment at C, positive uh, direction. So let's plot when X is 0, when the unit load is at here, then RB is 0. If you sum up moment about A and consider AB only. So we have RB, RC, RD, and RE and RF only because when the unit load is acting at G, because we, if you want to derive RA, the moment arm of the unit load at G will be 0 at B. So RG is not included. So when X is 0, everything here, RB, RC, RD, RE, RF, 0. When X is 3 at B, so RB is 1, the rest will be 0. So RC 0, RD 0, RE 0, RF 0. Then when X is 6 at C, the unit load is at C, everything is 0 except RC is 1. Because the unit load is over support C, panel point C, so the reaction at C should be 1. And the rest will be 0. When X is 9, the unit load is at D. Everything will be 0 except RD is 1. So RB is 0, RC is 0, RD is 1. And RE is 0, RF is 0. When X is 12, so that means the unit load is at E. So RB, everything is 0 except RE is 1. So RB 0, RC 0, RD 0. RE is 1, RF is 0. When X is 13.5 here, so not shown, but obviously RE and RF will be 1 half when the unit load is at the center between them. So 13.5, everything is 0 except RE and RF equal to 1 half. So RC is 0. RD is 0, RE is 1 half, and RF is also 1 half. When X is 15 at F, everything is 0 except RF is 1. So RB 0, RC 0, RD 0, RE 0, RF is 1. And when X is 18, 
everything will be zero. But since RG is not included because its moment arm at B is zero, so and it, it it does not affect the moment and shear in panel D, so RB zero, RC zero, RD zero, RE zero, RF is also zero. So we now establish this equation for RA, submission moment B0. So RA times 9 equals RB times 15 plus RC times 12 plus RD times 9 plus RE times 6 plus RF times 3. Of course, RG times 0. So that's why it's not included. Divide everything by 9. So RA is 5 thirds of RB plus 4 thirds of RC plus RD plus 2 thirds of RE plus 1 third of RF. So this is the equation for RA. While shear in panel DE, considering all forces to the left, is RA minus RB minus RC minus RD. While the moment at C, considering forces to the left, is RA times 4.5 minus rb times uh, 10.5 minus rc times 7.5 minus rd times 4.5 minus re times 1.5 so this is the moment equation at c let's now plot the ordinates to ra so when x is zero and we have a value of ra shear in panel DE and shear in MC. So when X is 0, RA is 0 because when X is 0 here, RB is 0, RC is 0, RD is 0, RE is 0, RF is 0. So everything here is 0, so RA is 0. Shear in panel DE is because RA is 0, RB is 0, 0, 0, so 0 also. While MC is, because this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so M sub C is also 0. When X is 3 meters, take note that all, only RB is 1, the rest is 0. So this is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, so 5 thirds of 1, so RA is 5 thirds. And shear is, because only RA is 5 thirds, the rest is 0. RA shear in panel D is also 5 thirds. Oh, sorry, 2 thirds. Because there is a unit load here, sorry. RB is 1. So RB is 1. So RA is. RA is. 5 thirds of 1. So that's why R is 5 thirds. Shear in panel DE is 5 thirds minus RB, which is 1 when X is 3. So 5 thirds minus 1 minus 0 minus 0 is 2 thirds. Then M sub C 4.5 of 5 thirds minus 10.5 of 1. Then the rest of this is 0. So 4.5 of 5 thirds minus 10.5, 1 is negative 3. When x is 6, when x is 6, only rc is 1. So ra is 5 thirds plus 4 thirds of 1, 0, 0, 0, so 4 thirds ra. Then share in panel DE, 4 thirds minus 0, Minus 1, RC is 1, when X is 6, minus 0, so 4 thirds minus 1 is 1 third. And M sub C is 4.5 of 4 thirds, minus 0, minus 7.5 of 1. So it is negative 3 halves or negative 1.5. When X is 9, only RD is 1. So 5 thirds of 0 plus 4 thirds of 0 plus RD, which is 1, 2 thirds 0, 1 third 0, so 1. RA is 1. 
and shear in panel DE is 1 minus 0 minus 0 when x is 9 then minus 1 RD is 1 when x is 9 so 1 minus 1 shear in DE is 0 then 4.5 of 1 minus 0 minus 0 minus 4.5 of 1 so 0 minus 1.5 of 0 so MC is 0 when X is 12 only RE is 1 so RA is 2 thirds of 1 so 2 thirds then shear in panel DE is 2 thirds minus 0 minus 0 minus 0 so positive 2 thirds and M sub C is 4.5 of 2 thirds so 3 minus 1.5 of 1 so 1.5 or 3 halves when X is 15 13.5 uh, RE and RF one half so two thirds of one half so one third plus one third of one half one six one third plus one six is one half RA is one half <coughs> then share in DE is one half minus zero minus zero minus zero so it's also one half then moment at C is 4.5 of 1 half is 2.25 minus 1.5 of 1 half. 2.25 minus 0.75, so 1.5 or 3 halves. When X is 15, only RF is 1, so RA is 1 third of 1, so RA is... is one third because the rest is zero. Share in DE is RA one third minus zero 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 so one third also. And moment at C is four point five of one third one point five then minus zero 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 so four point five of one third so one point five or three halves. Finally when X is eighteen the re all the reactions B to F zero, so zero R A is zero. And zero minus zero minus zero minus zero is zero. Share in D. M sub C is zero 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 zero, so zero also. So let's now plot R A in the next slides. We copy this tabulations. So for reaction at A, when X is 0, RA is 0, then 5 thirds decreasing uniformly, 2 thirds, 1 half, 1 third, and 0. So this is the influence line for RA. So R A max is equal to 0.9 kilonewton meter times the area one half of 18 times five thirds plus concentrated load 18, place it over this B here, times 5 thirds. So RA max is equal to 43.5 kilonewtons. Then for shear in DE, so when X is 0, 0, then 2 thirds, 1 third, 0, 2 thirds again, 1 half, 1 third, 0. So, as shown in the figure, that's the influence line for shear in panel D. Then for moment at C, 
zero, negative three, negative three halves, zero, then three halves, horizontal, three halves, three halves, then zero. So that's the influence line for moment at C. So that's it for this problem.